Well, all right, friends, subscribers, internet strangers, what's up? So today, what are we up to? How about we drive 45 miles and test brake seeks accuracy? Y'all in? Y'all ready? Excited? Let's go. So I see a lot of people talking about the Brickseek and Walmart. Uh, Brickseek, everybody else is very accurate. Brickseek and Walmart, it's not Brickseek's fault. Uh, so, so I'm chasing Legos today. One store, uh, 42 miles from here, shows five sets of a $15 Lego. They had it last night. It still shows this morning. The set's originally $69. It's currently still selling for $60. So you know you're looking at fees, everything. You're still you're looking $30 profit each. So $150 profit. We'll go to two or three drug stores and then another Walmart in the next town over in Lawrenceburg. The one nice thing about BrickSeek, the $30 plan is you can view each individual store and look at their individual markdowns. And so I've got I've got a list of four or five different things to look for in the first store. I haven't even looked at the second store yet. We'll take we'll play the second store by ear. We'll run through the drug stores. I'll take you with me. I'm testing out this new camera. I'm not a new camera. My bad still the GoPro 7 but I've got a small microphone on it um, seems the pollen and my uh, partially deviated septum from birth uh, make me breathe louder so it picks it up so I've I've got a small small mic to see if we can handle some of that and also it should handle the wind without without showing y'all the fuzzy mic I know I know y'all like the fuzzy mic but <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna start driving I'm a big guy. I'm gonna eat break. I'm gonna grab breakfast and then start driving. I'll take a picture of this biscuit because there's a place here in, in Meridianville called Biscuit Express, bacon out of this world, awesome biscuits. So hell, it's only 8:30 this morning. We'll grab a biscuit. Um, the only thing they do bad is they have Pepsi. I don't like Pepsi, so I would normally drink tea. But as long as I worked in restaurants 25 years, I don't know how many of y'all know that, but I was a I've been everything you can be in a fast food restaurant. I've worked for McDonald's, Hardee's, Taco Bell, Bojangles, Wendy's. I've been dish managers. I've been kitchen dishwashers. I've been it all. And uh, if you brew tea through the coffee maker, no big deal. But you have to be very religious about cleaning it, or the coffee taste comes through, and the their tea tastes like coffee. So, and that's a sin in the South. Never ruin sweet tea. Never. <laughs> all right, let's get. All right, so we made it to. Pulaski, Tennessee, uh, at CVS. You think Walgreens is jealous that I went here first? Hey, this is a windy out here. It's a good test of this little mic thing. See how we're gonna do. Uh, CVS, nothing exciting. We're looking for the same stuff we've been looking for, but I can't drive past one, so might as well go in. Let's see what we can find. All right, since I haven't been here in a while, we have to look for tags. Looking for clearance tags. It looks, in case y'all forgot, they look like that. So three bucks. Y'all see any more while I'm getting my phone on my pocket? When you only have one hand, it's fun to do this kind of stuff. Come on, Scottify. I hope everybody saw that so y'all don't have to ask, what app are you scanning with? Scottify 2 from Inventory Lab. For $12. That's not the right listing. There's three listings for it. There's a 9,000 listing. It's for $5. The one that Amazon's on is usually the right one. So you can buy it and lose money. No thanks. Nothing. And these drugstores. And Walmart plays music, so hope you're enjoying the lovely background music I had to put on here. Let's check Phillips Norelco because they got a message saying that uh, you were kicked off of Phillips Norelco. Requires approval. Damn 
Hey, so there is a great song playing. Child of the 70s or 80s, love this song. <laughs> hey, let's see if they got any voice bats. They do not. <laughs> Everybody in the audience, they cheered with great joy and anticipation because they know what those are. That's the new ones. They're not men or women, they're just new ones. They're, they're nine bucks. Ass pads, hot damn. They sell for 15, with tax and everything, you break even. But the old women's ones, they're nine bucks. They're still selling for, you see that right there, it says a two pack for 50 bucks. So what do you think? We'll think about it. What are the chances we find another one? <laughs> Ass pads in a while. The men's are the ones that you really want. They're in a brown box. Ass pads in a brown box. <laughs> I'm not the only one that finds that high, buddy. All right. Unless the toy's got us something. Sorry about that noise. It's gonna be a bust. Check the eye drops. Alright, so the CVS cross street was a bust. Uh, toys were very minimal. Sorry, my brother called. That was his that's his crazy ringtone about being a because he's an ex police officer. Alright. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I'd like to run somebody over. Alright. Let's see what we can find here. I do like this way this microphone swivels so if I'm talking front and talking back you can flip the microphone over. Remember, this is Walgreens, so you're looking for orange tags now. Walking down a whole row and I can see an orange tag. Alright, toys. Anybody see anything? I always check Paw Patrol, I don't know why. Bunch of Hot Wheels. I know, Derek, you're going to be disappointed I didn't look at those. Spider Man or buy one, get one half off. So let's see what Spider Girl's worth. Sick dollars. Ooh. Bomb Mom. I made a lot of money on Bomb Mom, but. Lately, you price drop has been killing him. He's five dollars. Uh oh, <laughs> that's rank not available. Damn it! Let's see what else we can find. You don't realize how, how hard everything is to do one-handed. Mario Galaxy, and only one part they've got them, they want $42, it's a new one. There's another bomb, um, some of these I know because I bought them, like this turquoise dude here, he used to be good. Item not found. This one. There's another one right there. The one you want is Princess Peach right now, she's, she's a good one. Do y'all see anything back there I should look at? I do. Y'all see Spider-Man right there? A lot of times he's an exclusive. I've not seen this Joker in a while. And he's worth 15 bucks. I can buy him and lose a dollar. Damn it, man. Alright. Any, any pads? 
Set them all, set them all clearance, man. All right, we're 0 for 2, and we're about to go test out Brick Seek at Walmart. <laughs> okay, so 40 miles in gas. So that's two gallons of gas burned out so far. Maybe a waste. Don't worry. We firing up the old, uh, I think I'm gonna name this van. It's got so much electronics and carrying on. I think we we're like an F-14 Tomcat. Back in the day, you know, from uh, Top Gun. Because there you go, there's a look from inside. <laughs> the iPad over there is screaming, tell me where to go, tell me where to go. That's the charging pad. We're not gonna hit this dude. What's up, buddy? And out we go. The reason why I stopped there is because over this hill and through the woods right there, we'll be at Walmart. See you in Walmart. I gotta put my seatbelt on before I get a ticket. So struggling a little bit today, but that's all right. We're gonna do what I do best. Sometimes you gotta stick to a plan. We plan it while they work. They better have my damn Legos. Don't they know the bearded pickers here to pick up his shit? <laughs> oh my god, what a great personality disorder I have. We'll grab a bass and go look at that 1988. I only sells for $24.95. Question of the day Would you buy it? All right, I'll give you a minute to tell me why you would or would not buy that. 1988 sells for $24.88. All right, let's go pay for it because I'm buying it. All right, so here's the next question. We'll direct this one to Walmart. Walmart, why in the middle of nowhere here do you have three speedy checkout lanes open? You have all the self-checkout lanes open, but one, yet you have two regular aisles open. You have three yellow shirts running around looking at people, looking at people, looking at people and the two cashiers and the two regular lines move at the speed of smell. The speed of smell. Yeah, you break wind on one side of the store, a couple hours later, you finally reach it. It's just terrible. Y'all can do better than this. It reminds me of somebody. Back in the 80s, blue lights were real popular, and then they stopped putting cashiers out, they stopped doing anything, and eventually people stopped coming. Those big footsteps you hear are Amazon. You better watch out. Shape up your game. All right, so it seems like forever since I asked y'all a question. Uh, have you figured it out yet? Were you buying the game? All right, well, I'll show you the screenshots. $24.96 on Amazon. You pay out, what, $18? Looks like you break even until you go, oh, damn, Beardy Picker, you scanned it with a, Am with a Walmart app. That game's only $5. So you can pay $5 and make $13. All right, everybody who said, no, no, don't buy. Are you buying? No Legos. Brixie has let me down. But yeah, that happened. So just because you go in looking for one item, you're going to lose if you stick to the one item. There's a whole basket full of crap. I made at least the money I was looking to make. And uh, we're going on to the next town. Right eight. Not right eight. I'm sorry. Walgreens, CVS in the next town, another Walmart. Uh, so let's, let's see what we can find. That was a terrible, I got y'all woozy woozy editing. Sorry about that. One thing that comes in, one thing that comes in real handy uh, when you're doing this is grab you some bank bags. This one's from Bank of Alabama. I picked it up at a yard sale. Or, yeah, man, I cannot talk today. Uh, stay sell something. Uh, BP, what do you use it for? And it's hard to do anything with one hand, right? Hold your receipts while you're in a vehicle so you can keep track of them so they're not all over the place and you won't lose them. And you got, you got nice organized and you can deal with them when you get home. All right, let's fire up the old map. Come on. So we're right there. Uh, the next CVS is right there. We're gonna tell it to show it in ways. And we are currently uh, 16 miles, 21 minutes. If we'll get there, 11:44. All right, All right see. So we have made it to this CVS here. Uh, let's see if this one skunks us out. 
or we have to go to Walgreens across street. Or that little bitty dog bites me. One of the what, whatever happens first. We're gonna check it out and see. I was on the phone, so I forgot to grab the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. But don't worry, I didn't buy anything. I spent two hundred ninety-three dollars at that Walmart. Uh, I got two one hundred dollar Lego sets for twenty five dollars a piece. I got some Tie Fighter things that are three of them are nineteen. Um, I got they sell for sixty seven. I got they're all all that's oversized, but they're still good money. And I bought some Funko POPs, uh, the Walmart exclusive for the for something I don't even know what movie it was, but they were buying for eight something selling for 30 and they had 13 of them so well that store didn't have any anymore <laughs> um and i found another lego for seven dollars and i'm like well damn let's start looking up on brick to see where that stuff is the walmart i just left which i have to pass on the way home um had six of that same lego so we're gonna stop at that walmart we just left to pick up those legos that we left all right so let's ride back sometimes you screw up and miss stuff they appreciate it. Brickseat giveth and, or taketh away and Brickseat giveth. This is awesome. All right. So we made it back to uh, Bearded Picker World Headquarters, a.k.a. the house. <laughs> Y'all recognize the garage? All right. So good day of retail arbitrage. Went to two Walmarts, two CVS, two Walgreens. Yeah, and, and that crazy $5, give me $5 store, which we were in there long enough to go, oh my God. So, um, we'll give you a glimpse back there of the stuff that's, I think I just lost. All right, the microphone thing pick, picked out. I'm gonna have to get a better thing plugged in. Anyway, give you a glimpse back there of the Legos. I picked up Legos. I picked up just basically what I always do, what I'm best at. I scanned around. I looked around the whole store. I scanned the, the clearance aisle. Um, I went up and down the toy aisles and picked. And then when I found something in one store, I realized, wait a minute, I saw that at the other store. So I, I hit it on the way back. Brickseek said they had six of that one on the way back. They had two, so I picked them up. That store also was supposed to have six Legos that I was going for, or five Legos I was going for originally. They didn't have any. So Brickseek, um, you know, I found it at one. Missed it at one, missed it, but then I found another item. So, you know, Brixie, give it Brixie, take it away. Um, make sure everybody checks out uh, our new video series, Dumpster Wars. I'll link it up here somewhere. Um, we've got one seat, one episode out so far. Next episode should come out Sunday. I'm sure you guys what I find. So, on that game, let's hit the button. Let's go see what's back there. Maybe you guys can make some money with me. All right. That guy was five bucks. I got like four of him. This is the big winner. On a hundred dollar set of Legos. And I got two of them and the TIE Fighters. So, uh, uh, what else we got over here? Anything Avengers is hot. Five bucks. I got another phone call to take. All right, that was just a telemarketer. He might have got cussed out. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, Avengers, anything Avengers, even though uh, this is Infinity War, the old one, it was five bucks. That was for 25. The TIE Fighters, that's what I was talking about. They're, they sell for 67. They're oversized. That's oversized too. Um, that's been marked down to seven bucks. It was originally 39. It sells for 20, excuse me, 27. And the last Lego of the day was that big friend set right there. Heart Lake Summer Pool. You're going to be shocked when you see that it was $9. That's almost yard sale prices. That's almost, look, Harlan picked it up at the yard sale prices. All right. So I just wanted to end this video on a positive note. Um, hope you enjoyed Dumpster Wars. I hope you've enjoyed the, the old-fashioned ride-along with Bearded Picker. We showed you some stuff we found. Uh, the one thing you never know what's gonna happen till you get there. You know, don't let brick seek. Oh, don't let brick seek. Oh my god, Walmart doesn't have it exactly what they said they did. Um, because there's plenty of stuff to find. Uh, this trip was successful not because of brick seek, because I actually went to 
two Walmarts I hadn't been to in about 60 days. So the stuff is out there. Don't depend on just your Walmart. You know, draw yourself a circle around. If you can get to say 60 miles around your place, uh, and and make them all your Walmarts. You know, you know if if you can get the seven or eight versus the two or three, man, you really increase your odds. So that you know one store doesn't really dampen your outlook when you can get so much out there. All right. See you uh, on the morning show since this is a in between day. And then I've got a special guest coming up on May 3rd. Uh, I will link their YouTube channel up here, Mommy Income. You guys have heard me talk about them. They're gonna, I'm gonna they're gonna come on. It's gonna be a Friday, May 3rd. I think 10 a.m. I think that's the right time. And we're gonna talk bundling, FBA bundling. I'm no good at bundling, but those two ladies are are experts at it. So uh, get you a chance to meet them, and and in the chat you can ask them questions but I will link their channel up above as well. So I hope you look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Uh, tickle the like button, all that crazy mess. The YouTube stuff, roll tide.